我伤口。It is I, Unseen Strike. Welcome back to Total War Stronghold. My name is Unseen Strike. Welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. Here we go. We're gonna hop or get this out of the screen. Oh boy, we're back on Alvarez. Okay, here we go. We got a 3v3 on Alvarez. Again, everybody, if you're watching this video first compared to the other videos in this set, hope you're doing well. It's good to see you all back. Hope the Emperor uh, brings you good tidings this, this glorious new year. Um... We'll be hoping to get videos out every day. This time, I swear upon it, the Emperor hears me, and we will make it so. Let's take a look what we got here. We have Eldar here. Aspect portal first, so we're not going to see trees. And guardians, blah, blah, blah. Let's see we got... Oh, ooh, crap, we're on Ulfway. Okay, same thing. Gens, guardians, the whole nine. And dark Eldar going Hall of Blood, so no vehicles. Let's get the fog of war out of the way. North team. <laughs> More space wolves, dirty animals. We've got orcs. I like this orc color scheme. Nice, nice. And north side, we have some kind of, uh, what is that, like a vampire symbol? Some kind of space marine blood, uh, blood angels kind of thing going on. Maybe. Anyway, space marines here. What do they got? We're going to get a force commander. What are we going to see here? Surprise me today. I want to see, last time we saw this, um, the last game, we saw salt marines potentially queued and they canceled. Very sad times. Big Mech's cooking. Doubles tack squads here, so no Force Commander on the north. Dark Eldar getting Cabalite Warriors and then Archons. The Eldar um, here. We're going to see Rangers. Craft Lord Ultimate would bring the Rangers. Good for them. Screw those Dark Reapers. And ba uh, Banshees? Wow, I'm very invested now. Here we go. Very interesting. Don't we see ba Excuse me. Don't see Banshees very often. We need to get them moving. These, uh... These ladies are deadly. I really like this color scheme as well. Very spooky looking. First fight going on, Rangers. See if they pick off some scouts. No. Excuse me. Okay, cloaking comes in, so they're gonna probably go pick a worker off. Is what this looks like. We return to defend the craft world. Scouts firing their BB guns here at these guardians. Both are equally pathetic. And they've been detected. They need to flee. Double space marines here can push through this quite well. They just need a skull probe. Uh, can be very dangerous. He doesn't have anything to support this. Needs to be very weary. Big Mac moving down the mid here. Maybe he can we pick off these rangers. This would be really nice teamwork. No? South side banshees are here. And these banshees will rip through. The only problem is scouts are pretty fast on their feet. Big Mac coming in to support this push. I don't agree with this. There's already a force going in here. Help your teammate out. Yeah, he needs that detection. There's a skull probe coming. But look, this is the power of these, these kiting rangers uh, they didn't break morale in the salvo there but they can easily stop and do so if they did wish banshees were repulsed they were banshees into ooh, we got a warlock i do like to see that maybe he's gonna get a couple warlock upgrades maybe possibly big mech's getting ready to push here there is an archon big cc on the big mech rangers are gonna start picking away but double tack marines on the right on the north side of the screen here and they will put out a lot of DPS. These scouts don't even bother. It looks like a grenade was thrown as well, but it doesn't CC him, the Archon, for some reason. Big Mech in melee. Morale is recovered. He'll grip through these Guardians. Uh, I believe that's a morale break ability from the Dark Eldar, and this is where the double attack spots are crazy. You can just kite around like that and really start picking through the by Guardians. Uh, Rangers in the back, though, very dangerous. Picking away scouts. One sniper is up. I don't think that model had a sniper. Uh, he did not. He's had a BB gun. This is where they can be dangerous. These scouts need to just keep pulling back. Friend? Friend, retreat, buddy. Looks like they're shooting at the wrong model. They need help up here. He needs to pull them back. These snipers are very expensive. If you're going to invest in snipers, you can't lose snipers. So he still has two. Big Mac is doing the right thing defending. Attack Marines in melee. As long as the, the both snipers for both teams are firing into this, I think the battle will be fairly even. Uh, there is no force commander here, so the Archons are a little bit nutty. Big Mac is in a nice, healthy squad. I see a minefield coming down. That'd be huge if it gets deleted. Gets deleted. The scouts now getting sufficient sniper numbers, and they're going to push this back. Guardians need to be helping this fight. This We see this all the time. Don't be capping in the middle of a fight. Fight first, win the battle, then cap. Mandrake's coming in. This will turn the tide. Dedicated melee unit. Not alone. Someone's saying, move your ass. Don't know who that is. 
Uh, it was our, our Eldar in the bottom left, King Crab, being told to move his booty cheeks uh, from the Dark Eldar player. And that is true. Uh, if you build your army fight and look at this vantage, he's immediately ripping through tax squads. Dark Eldar came over to help, and look at this ripping through Force Commander in the wrong spot now. Banshees and Mandrakes, Orcs fleeing as quickly as they can to come help. And this is just too many Splinter Rifles, too much uh, Banshee Power Swords. Force Commander ravaged all alone, and look at that. Build an army and be surprised when you push through a win. Snipers now getting ready to pull up. This is a lot of Eldar Pew Pew. You need to be very careful with the positioning of these snipers here. If he loses too many snipers, the tech will be for nothing. He needs to just slowly pick models off and be okay with that. This is th right here. This is beautiful. Mm! I don't think that model had a sniper, though. One did go down here, though. What's our dirty wolf player doing down here? Is he rebuying his force commander? Don't do it. He He's not. He's getting a attack squad. At this point, I would get a bolter turret down, maybe two, a minefield. Um... None of his LPs are upgraded at all. Very dangerous. You want to make sure you get some kind of eco going. Our Space Marine player in the north only has one as well. And the Orc is asking his Space Marine player to come through. Looks like both teams have a strategist. Workers being killed. Uh, this Space Marine squad dying for nothing. Looks like the Dark Eldar threw a grenade. I see a Viper upgrade coming in. We're getting Vipers. Uh, this game is slipping away from North Team very quickly. They're going for gens. Interesting choice. And the orcs are now stuck. They need the space room player to come with them. They need to move quickly. Whatever they're going to do needs to be right now. Jen goes down for the filthy space wolves. Magnus did nothing wrong. Orcs morale is consistently broken. This viper's in the wrong neighborhood. He needs to be careful. There's the rangers. He needs to find them. Space room bolter line pushes back this Eldar army. Yeah, you get enough bolters in tier 1 with a health upgrade or two. And the attack marines are deadly. Uh, there is a vehicle here, though. Wolves getting demolished. One, two, three. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. Okay, Council of Nikea was a sham. Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, the snipers are firing at the Viper. They need to find this right here. And if they can kill these rangers... It's amazing. They're taking no damage. I think one model died. And that's it. Crazy. None of these units really even look at them. A Farseer is here now. Viper flies away. Marines just flying out and dying in droves. This is a waste of wreck. Don't keep doing this. Uh, upgrade an LP or two. Invest your money while you can. Your, your, your units coming out aren't going to do anything, really. And now the Big Mac's where he needs to be. He needs to live. He, he needs to stay alive. Detach him, maybe. Pull him back. Let these war tracks do their duty. Maybe take a Viper down or two. And it looks like he heard me talking to the monitor. He just needs to pull back a hair. He needs to keep him alive. This was good. Most of that Eldar army got wiped out there. Snipers lived. I hear a, uh, a Harlequin out. Another tax squad coming down. Yeah, if you're in this situation, I advise a Bolter turret in the back. In an, in an awkward angle near your teammates. Upgrade an LP or two. This isn't at the power anymore. Fire Dragon's out, but now there's War Track artillery here. And this is what we need to see from this Warp player. This is good backbone support. Warp Spider's finishing up on that Eldar player. What are the Dark Eldar doing? Nothing's happening for them. Just getting a plasma generator, thermal plasma. And these war tracks are getting a little close to the fire dragon. Uh, they do not have all have their bomb chuckas yet. Bomb chuck is a 50-50 upgrade. A little expensive. Eldar army again also being pushed back. He's just now going tier 2. This is going to keep the north team in the game. Uh, as their space room player was severely crippled. Their opponent on the other side, the Eldar colors, has not teched as well. Let's see, what about this Space Marine player? He also doesn't look like he's tech. To the webway. I don't think he has. Work player taking the thermo. I agree with that. And now they're taking the correct target here, the middle Eldar. He's the strongest player, in my opinion. If they can break this eco, these war tracks can fire un un uh, unperturbed. So he's to watch these fire dragons. Just turn a couple marine guns on them. And look at the war tracks. Very commanding. Warp Spiders jump into the army, uh, the enemy army, but there's no support for them. They need to be very careful. Big Mech's slowly healing up. I see Scourge Lances coming in. The War Tracks now need to move. Eldar Army pushing back out on the left. Looks like a uh, Psychic Storm going in. And eat that, you dirty wolves. Banshee's coming in. Nice little sink kill there. Again, one tur turret here. Be in good shape. 
a scary marine squad. I see Sargans, so he is in tier 2. What's he getting? Plasma pistols and health upgrades. And here comes that Dark Eldar army in the north. You see it coming down here. Uh, double Scourges, Double Cabalite yeah, Warriors. Scourges are not really upgraded yet. I'm hearing a whole boatload of Ranger shots here. And the morale's broken. We can see a rally. Double Scouts dropping their snipers. This needs to be taken care of. A one land speeder would be perfect. And Sargants with Plasma Pistols, deadly. Very deadly. Need to be careful here. Need to bide your time. God, just one War Truck, which has gone them down. Anything else interesting coming out of our North Space Marine team? Nothing yet. There's a turret from our Eldar player. Don't normally see that. Getting his Dark Reapers out now. I don't think the Reapers are going to be enough for this battle here. Scourge is getting great shots on these wool trucks. But the infantry is being demolished. There's a huge tack marine ball. Uh, at this point, our wolf player should just run his tacks into melee to stop these warp spiders from ravaging. As they're doing so well here. Boulder line is up. They're firing pretty well. One warp spider squad lives. No, he died on the transit. And here comes those dark reapers here. And I would love to see two or three land speeders just demolish this one, two, three. And again, oh my, a killicon! No way. Here he comes, Big Billy. And let's keep an eye on his progress. I don't care about the rest of the battle now. I'm fully invested in our orc player. What a champion. Hold the whole bolter going off. It's firing away. What's our orc player doing? He's defending. And a lot of gens here. I don't think he's tier two. Again, I would upgrade an LP, my friend. He upgraded one. Games drop a little bit of frames. The siege is now beginning on the Eldar base in the middle. And there is zero. These are enemy scouts. Really nice to see that. There's an, all three war trucks died. The Eldar player is slowly being pushed back. The Space Marine death ball here. He held it all the way through tier one. If you let the Space Marines do this, this is GG. Generally, you want to keep their attack models down. Uh, and I actually really like the way he played here. He's not new. We got anger. No grenades here. Scouts need to put their feet down and shoot. They are now. Look, you can see where they're aiming. This is why you get grenades, so the uh, warp spiders can't do that. Meanwhile, where did the killer can go? I hear him. No! He died! I missed it! Mind war going off on the Big Mac. This is not good. Uh, the tide turned very quickly on our north team. Librarium is down. Space Wolf player is now getting his LPs. Maybe they're in voice chat. Um, listen, everybody. Help the new players out. Teach them. Use this as a teaching tool. Hey, this is how you don't get rushed. Hey, put a turret or two down. Maybe not next to each other like this. Spread them out a little bit. Make the enemy have to push two locations. Put a minefield in between so when they're running to the second turret, they get blown up. Um, teach. Teach, teach, teach. Too many veterans get very salty at the noobs. You, you got to teach the noobs. Teach them up. Uh, it looks like this Eldar in the south is a bit of a noob as well, and the game's kind of progressing, not evenly, but as evenly as you could get in Warhammer 40k. Uh, when there's giant metal tin cans and guys shooting giant laser beams at people, and uh, dark elves with jetpacks. First turret's up. Zoom. Nope, didn't get up in time. Down goes the poor servitor, down goes the LPs. It's a little late for the LPs to get upgraded, but he tried. I give him credit. Still just spamming endless tack marines out. Uh, his eco must be incredible. Here's a fight bomb. We needed to see this on the earlier engagement. Poor Killicon. He's a little late in the battle at 13 minutes. You want to see him a little earlier. Uh, Flash gets now firing point blank into here. Fire Dragon's rushing forward for nothing. Double Flash gets out now. Space Marines need some grenades. I don't know if they've thrown them yet. I don't know what happened to all the snipers either. But they're actually holding quite well. They need to push a base. They need to just go in and take a base out. Scourge is now firing at this fight of Look at the lances. They rip through aircraft. Down they go. I'd love to just see some sluggers. Just get some sluggers over here. That's it. And again, they keep forcing back to go defend their ally. They need to just pick a base and go. Uh, maybe the Dark Eldar base in the north? Flash gets her here now. The Scourges are in deep trouble. Uh, the I don't remember the name of this spell. The Maledictum, maybe? Question mark. That the Dark Archon can do. Uh, change allegiance on an enemy unit for a little bit. Soulstorm going down. That's not good. Flash gets ain't cheap. 
Space Room player still hanging in there. Let's see what he does about it. Flash gets moving forward, keeping his Eldar army pinned again. There's a Rhino for once. Holy cow. Let's pop out. Down goes that Dark Eldar army. Honestly, he pushed the Dark Eldar. Just get in here. Demolish all this real quick. Or the Eldar in the middle. Uh, but I would say the Dark Eldar at the top, just so you have to force both middle and south armies to run up to you. The Harlequin's kiss goes off. He gets in the Rhino. Nice control there. Only lost a Sargant and one or two units. And are they actually deciding to go for the the guy in the middle? He said the team on the south is saying, GG, what? There's trees. There's fire dragons. What? What? No, no, no. Are you kidding me? Our Dark Eldar player throws his whole army. The Eldar player in the middle jumps his warp fighters repeatedly into the enemy gun line here. And they're saying this dude is the noob. I don't accept that. I don't accept that at all. This is why I don't like this community. Always blaming others but themselves. Down goes the first tree. Works are sweaty lumberjacks at 40k. Ah, uh, shame. Shame on these players on the on the the south side, if you will. Shame. Shame upon thee in your house. They were in this dude's base killing generators. And they're saying. I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. But this should have been done a long time ago, this push into Eldar, the Dark Eldar base. He used his self-destruct to, to CC this building. You don't see that very often. Dance, kill me. Dance. He's rushing the soul cage. Why? Can somebody in the comments please explain to me what rushing this soul cage is going to do at this time to help him? What's it going to do? This thing is, is expensive. Somebody get me a requisition cost on this. This could have been put into some vehicles. Uh, some raiders maybe, a Talos or two. Are you kidding? What the heck is the soul cage gonna do for you in this instance? What's it gonna do? What do, what is it gonna do? Everybody loves the fast tech, but nobody likes to buy any units. Why did the Dark Eldar player stop buying units after getting double scourges? Why didn't he get any witches? Where was his warp beasts? These are the important questions here. I actually give so much credit to this dirty, filthy Space Wolf player for spamming tack rings the whole game and keeping it going. This, Dar this Eldar player, yeah, he wasn't the best, uh, but his army sitting here really prevented the other teams from pushing across to his Dark Eldar player, in my opinion. Is that the Rhino smokescreen? You don't see that very often either. Down goes all these Dark Reapers. You don't see a lot of gore balls, big balls very often doing that. And there's even a filthy, dirty wolf here. A wolf lord. Doing his best here. And all that's left is Zeldar player. Look at that. I did not think the North team was going to win. I'm going to be super honest with all of you. I thought they were going to lose. I didn't think they had it in them at all. Fun fact, if you didn't know, uh, you can ping with these big buttons here on the bottom left-hand corner. You can right-click on this ping. I'm pretty sure it's one of these two. You can change what it says. If you can't type or speak the same language, you can ping, attack, capture, move. Um, again, I always highly recommend join up in uh, a voice chat with your friends. Make new friends. Hey, uh, what was his name? What was this LR player's name? Hey, King Crab, you didn't do so hot. Maybe... They both, both, L honestly, King Crab did better than the dude in the middle. He had more, I mean, more kills, obviously. Eco wasn't the best either. Hey, King Crab, let us be friends and unite in the power of, uh, of Eldar Cheese. Let me teach you how to play. This is where you should be moving your army. Uh, be friendship, be friendly. The internet is a tool for connecting with people, not being, uh, you know, l angry losers. That's all I got to say here. Anyway, it's I, Unseen Strike. I will see you guys on the next one. May the Emperor protect.